Glory to God. Um, living in the creative abundance, power of the Holy Spirit. The abundance power of the Holy Spirit. You see what Dr. Jesus did. He landed two types of life. The thief life, the abundant life. So the abundance power of the Holy Spirit is really after you're born again. Meaning everything going to come to you in abundance. Even wisdom. Even peace of mind. Even strength. Even confidence. A double portion of confidence. You know, when you have confidence, you're less bothered by the natural realm. Confidence takes away your fear. When threats come, how do you deal with threats, financial threats? You know, the creditor, different people come at you sometimes, tell you, you owe this and owe that. How do you deal with threats? How do you deal with bad reports? The disciples panicked when the storm came. Philip missed the opportunity to move in miracle provision. Remember, Jesus asked him, where will we find food to feed all this multitude? He stepped into the natural. He dealt with the fact that the supernatural Jesus was giving Philip the opportunity to move in the Jehovah Jireh realm. Think about that. When Jesus turned the five loaves and two fish into feeding 5,000, that was the Jehovah Jireh realm. He was releasing that to the earth. And he wanted to transfer that position to Philip. Every question is an invitation. God often asks you questions. Will you do this for me? Will you do this for me? The question is carrying a position that he's offering you. Every question God gives you is offering you a position. Philip could have moved. Now watch this. In the book of Acts, the Bible said that Philip was translated. The Bible said that he had a ministry of miracles, signs, and wonders. He could have got there right there. It took him time to get into this ministry of miracles, signs, and wonders and translation because he missed. Father, I receive your questions to me. I receive wisdom for the questions that you're asking me. And I receive wisdom to attend to your questions with accuracy, excellence, and perfection. This is mind boggling. The reason why Dr. Jesus pit supernatural money in the fish mouth for Peter, because Peter was a supernatural money minister. How is it that he goes to Ananias and Sapphira and checks them about money? Because he's a supernatural money moving minister. Creative abundance. You have authority to manifest that as a sower. Creative abundance. There was degrees of abundance that I manifested with my mouth after I sold. Because I knew what to say. I have in my book, but I also want to reiterate it. And those of you all that got my book, how many of y'all got the book? 
those of you all that sowed the seed and you're expecting your book, your book will be there. Don't worry. Your book will be there. Creative abundance is a supernatural law. Write that down. It's fresh. Creative abundance is the power that God privileges you to carry when you want to support his vision on earth. Write that down. Creative abundance is a transference of Jehovah Jireh's mindset. Creative abundance will remove your desire to entertain, entertain old habits. Write that down. Creative abundance will remove your desire to entertain old habits. Sometimes you want to go back to old sin because financially you're not doing well or you're in a situation where you're in a storm. Storms have the tendency to weaken you into temptation. A storm will test the purity of your heart. You want the storm to be outside of you for the rest of your life, not inside of you. Never let a storm come inside of you. The minute that the storm gets inside of you, The inward tornado destroys your house. The inward tornado, the inward Jesus had a storm outside of him while he was sleeping on that boat. The disciples had a storm inside of them. Jesus had a storm outside, they had a storm inside and outside. But because Jesus didn't have the storm inside, he was able to speak to what was on the outside and had to obey his inside. Creative abundance is an anointing where your inward man dreams. Write that down. Creative abundance is an inward anointing where your inward man dreams. The graduation stage of creative abundance is where your inward man carries vision. And if you take a note, write this down. In the spirit realm, a vision is bigger than a dream. Joseph had a dream that he was going to be over his brothers, but the vision was he was going to be over the land. It's bigger than a dream. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Jesus had a dream to seek and save the lost of Israel, but the vision was the Gentiles shall be saved. Esther had a dream to become queen, but the vision was deliver the children of God out of the hands of Haman and hang them on the gallows. Glory to God. A vision is bigger than a dream. So financial vision will create endurance in sowing. If you're taking notes, write that down. Financial vision creates endurance in sowing. The excitement of the seed is ignited through financial vision. Financial vision is where the blessing of Abraham overtakes you. The blessing of Abraham and the blessing of the Lord are two separate blessing streams. 
And they are both in the harvest power of the Holy Ghost. The blessing of Abraham and the blessing of the Lord are both uh, money moving dimensions of the Father in heaven. The blessing of the Lord makes you rich. The blessing of Abraham makes you very rich. Uh, let's look at this. Second Kings chapter four, verse one, the wife of the sons of the prophets cried unto Elisha saying, thy servant, my husband is dead. And you know that he did fear the Lord. Yeah, he feared the Lord, baby. He feared him. We're just going to let you believe what you believe. No, nah, no, nah, he feared the Lord. I'm going to show you how much he feared the Lord. Now, nah, baby, he feared the Lord. Boy, he feared the Lord, baby. That, calm yourself down. Your mustache flaring up. See, that's what happened. I, that's why God created the Clippers. And I'm not talking about the L.A. No basketball, no no two balls, no none of that. No Serena balls. No spaghetti balls. President Trump, 2020. I'm going to show you how much he feared the Lord. Look what they say right here. And the creditor is coming to take my two sons to make them slaves. Saints. This woman, her husband dies. He's a prophet. Her definition of him is that he fears God, but he leaves her with nothing. They're about to take their children into slavery because that's what tax collectors used to do. So remember when Jesus did a parable and compared us a Pharisee to a tax collector and said that the tax collector came down justified and the Pharisee didn't. That's how much self-righteousness angers God. That's how much religiosity angers God. A tax collector was a cruel person. And Jesus still put the tax collector's reaction above the Pharisee. Because the Pharisee was talking about how I fast and all this stuff. The tax collector said, Lord, be merciful to me. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. She does not have money to pay for the children. She don't have money to pay for herself. She don't have money to pay for nothing. She's asking Elisha. He's a double portion carrier. This is what the father do to you when you're chosen. He going to send a double portion carrier to your life. And blessed be God. We got all type of spirits of old operating in us from saints. We got clouds of many witnesses moving with us. Praise God. Glory to God. Glory to God. We got access to the kingdom of heaven. We got all type of different impartations and deposits. Deposits. We got all type of deposits. Sere vasocola. Requetele moso. Seble peke pepe que te preocupa. Macapapa capapa. Ropo stopo popo. Mi pianto. 
and, 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 and all type of deposits moving inside of us, all type of rivers and streams and keys and kingdoms. Elisha takes her out of debt, long story short, because he had the anointing to do it. See, the Holy Spirit always going to connect you to a prophet that has the power to take you out of financial Satanism. Write that down. Write that down, saints. Financial Satanism. Financial Satanism is where the thief is dominating your financial outcome. When I'm listening to the father with sowing, I hand over all my financial affairs to the biggest spirit of all time. The richest spirit that exists. Your father rich, how are you not going to be rich? And how would you ever receive the fullness of God and don't let yourself be rich? I was doing Zendaya here today. I did, I did a little, and <laughs> she got little curls. See, I can't really tell you my prayer life because I thank God for, for, for stuff that you think that you're not supposed to thank God for. But I know all my abilities come from God. So there's nothing that I don't thank God for. So if you ever heard me praying, you, you would think, you would think, what? You thanking God for that? <laughs> Blessed be God. You better thank him or it ain't going to work. <laughs> you, be, you, better, you better give him some praise. You better praise him out. Got the bat. You better praise him. You better give him some thanks. You better, you better thank him while all is well. So that when, if stuff don't go well, you go back to the track sheet. Now, Jesus, look at him. I done gave you thanks for this. So you can't be up there. You can't be letting this be tampered with. The devil tried to get me. All right. He done tried to deflex me. But according to the record sheet, on this and this day, it was about 5.55 p.m. I gave you thanks. All right. So if I gave you thanks, there's a manifestationals. And there's an increase of pervasionals, a perseverance in perseverationals, and a protectionals, and and uh, a securityals, uh, securityals is like heels and security put together. <laughs> and some of some of y'all need that some security heels, <laughs> so that when your praise break, your weight don't press down, break the praise. And so after I do Zendaya, here's Zendaya up the tongue. I said, Zendaya, get your hand out your head. I did that. Zendaya tongues. <laughs> she put her hand on her head. She put her hand on her head like this here. Zendaya, put your hand off your head. Glory to God. The angel at the wealth gate has a list of people that's sowing on earth. Listen, listen, listen. The angel at the wealth gate, I've seen him before. If you ever see the angel at the wealth gate, the angel at the wealth gate got bracelets of gold on. The angel at the wealth gate is covered in diamonds. There's aloes, cinnamons, frankincense, myrrh, and all type of high smells 
that the angel at the wealth gate packages. The angel at the wealth gate dresses in unique supernatural material. Material that will make you shock, marvel. There's all type of precious golds and silvers on the angel at the wealth gate. God's brilliance shines on the angel at the wealth gate. The angel has a list of people on the earth that have been following the spirit of God with their money. That angel at the wealth gate has authority to open up that gate in heaven and you'll see it manifest on earth. You'll see that gate Start to move in relationships, business, debts, your financial flow. Money freedom will be your testimony. There's a testimony that the angel at the wealth gate carries. And he releases that testimony on sowers so that they could testify in visible form. Even before their mouth moves, you'll see that they have stepped through this gate. The wealth gate testifies of the finished work of Jesus Christ and his resurrection power. Wealth is the resurrection power of God validified and established on you right now. I received the wealth gates upon my life. Wealth gates have all type of experiences and encounters that will release you into supernatural happiness. There are wealth gates that you receive where God tests you to see how you handle abundance. Whether you're going to stop sowing, whether you become disinterested, whether you become uh, connected to people that's illegal, whether you mishandle the funds, the finances. There are wealth gates that are trial periods. My God. Shh. On YouTube, it got a trial period. You know where you can play your music in the back. <laughs> so you can browse on the Internet and still play your music in the back. You can go on the hub and still play your music on the back. And I mean Bible hub, correctionals, correctional facility, correctional facility. Don't you grab me now. Don't you stop me and don't you fight me. And while you're on the Bible hub, you, you, you still can listen to music in the back. Do, 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 do. Cut this music off. There, there is a financial trial period. A financial trial where the Holy Spirit will let you taste of wealth to see how you handle it. And see if you keep your fire in sowing, the Father just going to keep on taking you up the supernatural ladder of wealth. There's a supernatural ladder of wealth. Remember, Jacob had angels descending and ascending. Called Jacob's ladder. There's a financial ladder that you get to climb on. When I'm sowing into my Jesus connection, I'm ascending on the ladder into finances in the heavenly realm. Once I break open in the finances in the heavenly realm, the finances in the earth realm will have to submit to it. The hundredfold lifestyle is in heaven. I have to sow out of this heavenly realm for it to manifest in the natural realm. 
Glory to God. Sowing stops. It, 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 uh, sowing is demonic prevention. You prevent demons when you're sowing. There's a shield of fire around your life. Demons can't trespass against you. When the seed is moving in your hand, demons is moving out of your life. 